Assalamu alaikum everyone. First of all, a hearty congratulations from uh, the cricket clinic, the team cricket clinic. Uh, bad bad ho, Pakistan in the semis. Uh, so first of all, let me just go to my panelists, uh, Asif and Mudassar, and have them reflect on the miraculous way by which sort of we entered the semis. Um, I'm sure aap log bhi jab dekh rahe honge, so one or two days leading up to that, we didn't really give them a chance. Everybody had written us off. It was almost kind of unthinkable that this would happen. But here we are. Uh, we're in the semis and we have just the same amount of opportunity as uh, the three other semi-finalists. So what do we say Asif and Mudassar? Mudassar, go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's been a roller coaster. I mean, remember when we were talking about you cannot ride off Pakistan, especially in Australian condition. So I know we got lucky in the end, a little kismet deir se jaagi hai, one can argue. Two games were close to us against India. Especially or Zimbabwe wala bhi. Was... So yeah, just I think we should just celebrate and two more games left and uh, anything can happen. We have a shot yeah, at this, yeah. What do you want to say about Netherlands? Asif, what do you want to say about them? What do you want to say about them? Yeah, where's the energy with us? So you have to be excited. Hi, <laughs> Ovan. Anyone in between? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, Pakistan's going to win the World Cup. I'm saying it now. I said it after we won against New Zealand in the Tri-Series. We're going to win the World Cup. I have energy. I'm excited. I don't know what to do with myself until the semifinals start. But I'm going to say something here. The, I, the reason I know that we're going to win is because of divine intervention. I'm going to give you a few examples here. 36 hours ago, we had no chance of being in the semifinals. We did, but it was negligible. And now here we are. We find ourselves on the, on the essentially cusp of reaching the semifinals and finals. A few examples I'm going to give you about Netherlands and South Africa. First of all, you want divine intervention number one. We were relying on South Africa to chase a total. South Africa has a historic history of choking in World Cups in all formats. That's number one. Number two, the pivotal moment of that match was Miller, we know as the best South African yeah. batsman who was chasing. He got out 37-year-old Van der Merwe, who probably has never taken a catch like this in his life, never will do it again. This was a transformational catch. I would say possibly the best catch of the World Cup. I'm a little biased, but you know, it, it absolutely transformed everything. That's divine intervention number two. Number three, when South Africa was chasing in the end, when they needed to turn ones into twos, twos into threes, what happened? Their batsman got a cramp. He couldn't run. Yeah. Divine intervention, it was the batsman of Indian origin. That's even more divine <laughs> intervention. I love my Indian brothers and sisters. That's fine. But that's divine intervention number three. Okay, move to Pakistan versus Bangladesh. I'm very quickly, I'm going to tell you. Pakistan had a lot to do at that point. You know, we had a lot of nervous energy, excitement. People tell me that's hard to deal with. I wouldn't know about that. But the bottom line is India, uh, uh, Bangladesh was playing better than we were. They were much more poised. They were in control. What was the pivotal moment of that match? Shakib al Hassan, the number one all around in the world, number one batsman in Bangladesh, out first ball, LBW. He was not out, and we all know it. And his bat hit the ball, and the third umpire did not see that. That's divine intervention right there. I'm going to give you two more examples, and then I'm going to keep quiet just for now. <laughs> Divine intervention. The next example. Sean Rasood comes in. First ball, he hits straight up in the air. Catch any time you'd see it. It falls right between the fielders. What happens after that? Sean Rasood plays possibly his best innings of the World Cup, where he yep. is authoritative. He is in control. Almost 200 strike rate. Over the finish yep. line after the test match audition of our previous two openers, who we'll talk about. Divine intervention number three. The last thing I'm going to mention. Fakhar Zaman came and played a decent innings earlier in the World Cup. He got injured. I love Fakhar Zaman, but what happened? That opened up the pathway for Muhammad Hadis to come in, play two very profoundly impactful innings, one against South Africa, one against Bangladesh, and take us over the edge. All yeah. of these things coming together, that is not coincidence. That is divine intervention. We're going to win the World Cup. I'm excited. You all have to be excited. <laughs> what was the question? I don't even remember. No, yeah. <laughs> divine intervention is <laughs> something that Champions Trophy in the Hafiz jo out hua tha aur uski jo, huh. the, uh, it, the ball hit the, it, the stumps, but the bales yeah. nahi thi. Yeah. And then he got, got out, but it was a no ball. Yeah. And it was yeah. just destined to be. Yeah, um, this is the 92 World Cup all over again. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, for people who, who have faith, they, I mean, they can they can think maybe koi farishte jo hai, wo ja ke usko, I mean, the uh, signs are all, help there. Rahe all there. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, nahin, definitely, I mean, Whatever you be, you you believe in uh, destiny, karma, say what whatever you want to. But ये तो चीज़ मानी पड़ेगी कि जिस तरीके से हम पहुँचे हैं, 
I mean, this was nothing short of a miracle, basically. Yeah. You know, after the, the really sort of heartbreaking first two games, you know, it was very, very difficult. And especially after India lost to um, South Africa. I mean, that was, they were counting on that. But when it was over, then it was, it was almost, almost impossible. But this was the thing that it was in my destiny. Mein. And here we are. Yes. So congratulations to all the fans. And congratulations, especially to those fans who, who stuck with our team. I mean, I, I know first two games, we were very disappointed, they depressed. Thay. And uh, media, our Pakistani media, ne bhi but I think the faithful fans stuck with the team and, and they, they had faith that yeah, we should have won those two games. Um, but I mean, we, we, we were unlucky in a way, especially the first game. And those were close games. So, um, so, so really happy that, uh, you know, luck kind of favored us in the end. So uh, with, with that note, what do we say overall? I mean, uh, we, haven't sort of, we, we haven't done a micro analysis. Uh, of you know the five games we, we thought we would sort of uh let's see how it play play out and then sort of give you a sort of a collective analysis on that so main apne panelists se puchunga, kis aap, uh, Mudassir, maybe if you can sort of give us your take on a uh, kind of a summary of the first five yeah. games the pool games what do you think you know just talk yeah. us through our journey and what exactly. do you think so you know the uh, world cup shuru ho raha tha. So everybody was worried about uh, middle order. Or uh, it's not a it's been a kind of even World Cup. Uh, like uh, it's a, there are some pitches where uh, it, it, there's a lot of support for bowling. So overall, it's not a high scoring World Cup. So that's advantage to Pakistan right there. Okay, uh, bowling, uh, especially if you the two team names, so they are giving so less runs, like 120, 90 against the Netherlands. So his bowling has been excellent. Though shocker tha hum sab ke liye, ke agar 150, 160 Pakistan ko milta hai, uh, average score to chase. So we thought that Babar is one of them, or they will do it, or one will do it. So the first time that both of them have, uh, are failing for so long. It is one of them, but they have not been convincing. So that was a big shocker. And then what happened that the middle order stepped up. President surprised me. Some they were supporting uh, some players like uh, uh, Iftikhar. Um, and even Shan Kak Bichari, the only problem is that he's not, ideally he's not paying at his number. He's still the top scorer so far. So Shan and Chacha stepped up. Uh, Shadab has played incredible knock against South Africa. So, um, I mean, it's going according to the plan. If our opener is going to go in two, then Pakistan would have not lost uh, uh, against uh, Zimbabwe for sure. And India was a match bhi thoda aur better. And what we did an adjustment to it, we were saying that we should play four seamers in the World Cup. So, in Melbourne and Perth, the bowling condition thi, अगर बस अगर हमारे पास four seamers होते even uh, India वाले game में तो things would have been different शायद क्योंकि उस पे वो हमें we, we all could have seen के एक 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 seamer कम है तो four seamers से balance बहुत बेहतर हो गए वैसे ही एक दो over ही करा रहा है मैं कभी he end up taking like three wickets four wickets इसने लिए हैं on hat trick भी हुआ है तो वैसे ही safety question है ना हमारे पास yeah, yeah, and, and make it uh, आप Nawaz is not the bowler to you know yeah. get the last over I mean, so that's not his role. So we now have more cushion. If if one ball is having a bad day, you yeah. you have you have much more opportunities. Uh, so I think these uh, uh, positives are so far. Ke kuch cheeze, uh, w- w- like uh, they, they worked out on time. Haris, of course, for baad mein hai. I will let Asif Bai to uh, chime. I mean, uh, so again, going back. So I will say this, and I may have, or may not have said this before. We have never had better preparation going into a World Cup than we have for this. You know, we had the Asia Cup, which is, we were losing finalists. So we had a reasonably good uh, tournament. We had seven one day, uh, T20s against England in Pakistan. We lost 3-4. And then we had a tri-series in New Zealand, which we ended up winning in conditions that are similar to Australia. Never before in any World Cup have we had a lead in like this. And so we were poised to do well. 
And I would say, even if we had not reached a semifinal, I was one of those few people who would have said, we have played well. We have played very well during this World Cup. There are just two points where we fail to execute. That's it. You look at the India match. You tell me right now, 48 runs and three overs, whether it's Kohli and our batsman, I would take that nine and a half times out of 10. Even with Nawaz, Nawaz should not have been bowling that over. Even with Nawaz there, I would take that nine and a half times out of 10. We would win that. You tell me that we have to get three runs and three balls against Zimbabwe with Mohamed Nawaz and Mohamed Asim at the crease. I would take that. Those were two key points where we failed to execute. But aside from that, the India match, we played 37 overs, which were great. We were absolutely in control. In many of the other matches, we have been doing what we thought we would do. Our fielding has not been terrible. We have not been dropping catchers. Our bowling has been outstanding. Shine Afri has been getting stronger every single match. Like yeah. you said, bringing Wasim in, we have an embarrassment of riches and options to really mix and match with our bowling lineup, to mix and match with our batting lineup. We're doing very well. And so even if we had not qualified, you know, everyone would have thrown all the criticisms towards Pakistan. We've played good matches. We just failed to execute in two key moments. Hopefully we have exercised that, that nervousness out of our system. And now when the time is there, the lights are shining bright, we can actually execute and get the job done. Or no one-sided game. I mean, what we saw, the way Australia got eliminated is that they had one horrible game. I mean, they lost by 80-90 runs. Our who are the last ball. So that, that showed us that yeah, we were there. I mean, we should have won those games. But uh, I agree with you. Ke, uh, you know, despite those two losses, we, we had uh, played good cricket. Uh, New Zimbabwe, ka hum keh sakte the ke, yaar, Zimbabwe on paper, we, we should have been a little bit more aggressive up front. Or jab wo ek that, we, restricted aagi thi. Them, we restricted them to 130. So yeah. um, the bowling was not the at all. It's yeah. the batting. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No, no, I agree with you. Okay, how us can there be or do batting with your Marie approach the both or is it much like a you know, we, we were taking it, uh, we got a bit too nervous and we took it too deep. Uh, Wally, which is a way our end may ho jaga and we know okay, Jab Akhri Wotak Bajati, anything can happen. I mean, so uh, and that was actually my fear of watching uh, the Bangladesh game as well. Mm-hmm. You know, it was similar, you know, 126, 128 odd runs to get. Uh, so not much different from the Zimbabwe target. Or is can there be a story? The openers are not going to out nahi hue jis rounds game mein tha, but our run rate was, was you know yeah. less than uh, run a ball. Yes. So um, but uh Asha uh is me up uh bath kare uh uh a point joke uh Mudasana raised kiya tha it's it's an important point about the openers. I think the openers pay body debate with the and his point was ke, we were very heavily rely on the openers ke upar, aur openers were performing and the middle order was very criticism that the middle order was performing if only the middle order were to step up their game. But ab in hindsight, do you think ke we were a bit unfair to the middle order in the sense that they didn't get so much time to express themselves? Given that Babur ke Babur or Rizwan at that time were kind of using up so many deliveries, by the time, if you were supposing someone like Asif, I mean, Asif with all his sort of uh, technical issues, but if you were to get him two over to play, then I mean, you can't really blame a person like Asif or other middle order batsmen for getting out. Now, for the first time, maybe that's why we didn't perform our openers. We we have now sort of realized that Iftikhar has a lot of potential. Iftikhar is performing. Similarly, Shadab is performing. What do you think about this? So I I think, you know, before this World Cup, there was um, an article that I read that talked about how the Pakistan middle order, and in those days, they were looking at um, Heather Ali, Khushtil, Shan, um, Iftikhar, Shadab, Nawaz. They had the best strike rate in the world, but they faced the fewest deliveries out of anyone. And why is that? That's exactly what we're talking about yesterday against Bangladesh. You take 10 overs and you score 56 for no loss. That's just, you know... So this dot ball pressure that comes on the middle order, they don't have the luxury of being able to use up balls to get set the way our openers did, and then they don't make use of it. Now, they had been making use of it in the past, and they were finishing the job for us. But I agree. I think we've been a little hard on the middle order because they're expected to come in and perform immediately, whereas our openers are allowed to take four, five, six overs. Forget about power play. They don't even really understand what power play is or why it's there. Um, And so I do agree. I think that the middle order has been allowed to play their natural game, get settled, and express themselves, and we've seen the results. Um, I, I'm sure we'll talk about the openers, but I think that's that's a really big problem for us. 
नहीं तो बल्कि दिस कुड बी अ गुड सर्ट ऑफ सेगवे इन टू द ओपनर्स सर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड आई थिंक दिस हैज बीन डिबेटेड क्वाइट अ लॉट बट आई थिंक इट्स एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक नेवरलेस फॉर अस टू टॉक अबाउट क्या कहेंगे आपको गिवन के कुछ अरसे से बाबर हैज नॉट बीन परफॉर्मिंग ही सीम्स टू बी ट्राइंग अ लॉट सर्ट ऑफ things i mean especially kal ke game mein uh, bangladesh ke against uh, he seemed sort of out of form i mean he wasn't his no. time nahi ho rahi thi ball he was missing it too many yeah. balls so in this situation what would you would you agree that maybe someone like um, you know um, kya kehte hain haris you know given ke haris seems to be in good nick usko hum promote kar dein uh, you know as an opener with one of them and uh, you know give him the license to go for it i mean zyada zyada out ho jayega but uh, uska itna hame nuksan nahi at least it he gives us the upside potential ke agar chal pada so we can have a really good uh, foundation really good to power play iske yeah. bare mein kya kahenge mudassir yeah, jo aasif bhai jo keh rahe hain ye masla bhi world cup ka nahi hai ye khair is wo na usko ek पॉलिटिकल डिबेट बना दिया जब देखो यही इससे सरफराज की जो टीम थी ना दिस टीम इज बेटर देन व्हाट सरफराज है अगर ये दोनों ओपनर करें और हम एशिया कप जीते होते और हम पिछला वर्ल्ड कप भी हमने जीता होता या हमारा विन परसेंट एटी परसेंट होता तो दे कैन डू वट एवर दे वॉन्ट विन परसेंट रियलिटी इज विन परसेंट इज गोइंग डाउन इज क्लोज टू सिक्सटी परसेंट वो इज नॉट दैट ग्रेट और दूसरा ये कि बाबर जब से रिजवान आया साथ बाबर के तो बाबर इंडिविजुअल रन रेट विद रिजवान इज इज लाइक थर्टी टू और थर्टी थ्री तो बाबर इज गोइंग डाउन हिल बिकॉज वो दोनों तरफ वो एक जैसे प्लेयर चले आते खैर अगेन दे शुड इट शुड हैव बीन फिक्स बिफोर द वर्ल्ड कप अभी क्या कर सकते हैं अभी हम ये कर सकते हैं कि कि बाब इनमें से एक की जगह हारिस को भेज दें और एक कोई वन डाउन आ जाए बाबर शुड कम एज वन डाउन ही कैप्टन ही हैज टू लीड फ्रॉम द फ्रंट तो वन डाउन एम फाइन विद बाबर और अगर ज्यादा बॉल हैं तो फिर आप तो फिर आप शान को ओपन करा दें रिजवान तो यार इज ए लाइबिलिटी राइट ना वो ठीक है दे आर बिग प्लेयर्स दे माइट एंड अप स्कोरिंग एंड इन नेक्स्ट टू गेम्स मगर अगर हारे तो you know some some you know they mazak band ho jana hona chahiye they have to either win the next two games for us or after the world cup agar kuch hota hai to there somebody needs to take the responsibility that, so can i uh, yeah yeah yeah, I, yeah quick so like you said the eyeball test of course yesterday it was it's frustrating to see haris uh, or babar you know trying to swing as hard as he can not even making contact look babar and rizwan are two of our great batsmen they're in the top ranking in T20s they're great they've won many matches first they're going to win many matches for us later i love them now is not the time you know these classes permanent form is temporary they're out of form right now we're we're struggling because of it and you know i'll give you two statistics i'm going to give you number one is that you know their average opening partnership is 53 in T20s you hear that and you say well that's pretty good but in power play they are the ninth slowest opening partnership What is a power play in T20? It is field restrictions that are designed for the batsman to take advantage of. And it's like they don't even realize it. They don't play aerial shots. They don't, you know, they just play dot ball after dot ball the two anchors. So, you know, you look yesterday 56 and Alash said that's a good start. Well, it was in 10 overs. So that doesn't help us much at all for the reasons we just talked about. Another example just again, up to the South Africa match in the entire World Cup, we had hit 1-6, 1-6 in the entire power play. Mohammad Hadis comes in and hits three sixes and 11 balls. we would much rather have in the t20 format a 15 ball 30 than a 60 ball 50 that's the bottom line and at a certain point you need to put country before individual performance you know i understand you have an ego your captain you feel like you need to do something the more pressure that builds up on you the more you play out of character this is this is the semi final of the world cup you have to swallow your ego you have to take a step down you know management is very rigid with this as well i i have to give credit to management look Asif Ali they persisted with didn't do well they dropped him Heather Ali persisted with didn't do well dropped him Mohammad Haris has been a passenger for the last year and a half they inserted him and we got some results why can't they do this with Babar and Rizwan they're both great batsmen they don't belong at the top of the order in T20 cricket it hurts us it hurts us more than it helps yeah
हेलो ठीक है मुदसर आप कुछ ऐड करना चाहोगे अबाउट दी ओपनर्स क्वेश्चन एग्री विद आसिफ भाई के दीज टू आर ग्रेट प्लेयर्स अभी ये भी हो सकता है कि दो गेम रह गए और दे एंड अप स्कोरिंग एंड वी एंड अप विनिंग द द रेस्ट ऑफ गेम्स तो मगर यू लुक एट द करंट फॉर्म एंड उसकी वजह से प्रॉब्लम क्या हो रही है अब अब कसम खाई हुई है कि ये कोई और ओपनर नहीं आ सकता इन दोनों के अलावा पीछे आप देखो कभी शान ने वन डाउन दो मैचों में स्कोर किया फोर्टी फोर फिफ्टी वो इफ्तार अच्छा खेल रहे थे नंबर फोर पे आई थिंक ही मेड टू फिफ्टीज फिर कभी क्या होता है अचानक हारिस आया विच इज फाइन क्योंकि ऊपर स्लो है तो फिर हारिस को बेच सकते हैं वन डाउन मगर फिर शान हैज टू बी पुश एट नंबर फोर चाचा फिफ्थ पे चले गए तो ऊपर की अनस्टेबिलिटी की वजह से मिडिल ऑर्डर पूरा हमारा खराब हो रहा है और दे आर नॉट गेटिंग द ड्यू रिस्पेक्ट क्या आप अगर आप मिडिल जो मिडिल ऑर्डर के प्लेयर अगर आप उनको बोलो यार यू आर ऑल डिस्पोजेबल या वी कैन जस्ट चेंज वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट तो इट्स नॉट गुड फॉर द टीम लॉन्ग टर्म तो आई गेस आफ्टर वर्ल्ड कप वी नीड टू डू अ रोटेशन पॉलिसी लाइक इंग्लैंड एंड इंडिया एंड नीड टू स्टार्ट रोटेटिंग प्लेयर्स एट द टॉप टू सी हु द बेस्ट फॉर दिस जॉब To look at this is अगर आपने बाकी सब रोटेट कर दिया है तो वाई नॉट दी दी ओपन राइट आई मीन उसमें भी एक्सपेरिमेंट करके आप देख लेते हैं बट वट आई फाइंड स्ट्रेंज इज आप खुद जिस तरह मुदसर आपने कहा कि एवर सिंस ये जोड़ी साथ हुई है तो बाबर की अपनी फॉर्म रिसेंटली हैज टेकन अ डेप बिकॉज ही फील द प्रेशर के जब रिजवान इतना नहीं तेजी से कर रहा होता बट वुट योर सेल्फ इन द शूज ऑफ बाबर आई मीन Why then he does he continue? He himself sees that yeah, my form is going down. So he will not go down. He will go down. So 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 he will go down. आपका स्टीव इसमें दूसरे फॉर्मेट्स में खेलता है कैन फाइव फोर वन डाउन खेलते हैं तो वो तो उसको इज्जत देने वाली बात है कि यार यू कम वन डाउन ओपनर तो लोग स्लोगन भेजते हैं यार वो तो हार इस खेल रहा है आप आप हैदर अली को भी भेज खिला सकते थे ओपन तो आई आई थिंक ये कोई जिद है इंटरनल और ही इज प्रोलॉन्गिंग एट पी से प्रॉब्लम शुरू हुई है और ही नहीं जब बेटर कोच है कोच आई गैस वो जब चीजें ठंडी होंगी तो अब वो जिद है वो पूरा पाकिस्तान शोर मचा रहा है वो 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 बात और ही इज अ कैप्टन तो अब आई डोंट नो उसको कैसे इसलिए सॉरी लास्ट थिंग इसीलिए मैं कह रहा था कि बाबर इज अ कैप्टन ही कैन स्टे चलो उसे खेलने दो एटलीस्ट यार रिजवान को तो पुश कर दो ये के कॉम्बो डील है क्या दोनों साथ ओपन करेंगे या आई थिंक बाबर इज कॉट बिटवीन अ रॉक एंड अ हार्ड प्लेस बिकॉज़ बिफोर इफ ही मेड द डिसीजन टू ड्रॉप and it doesn't work he could say dekho i need to open in order for us to do well if it works then he gets all the credit ki kaptan banke you decided to come number 3 you're sacrificing for the team it's doing you you're doing well if he does it now it looks like you're giving in to pressure from all the critics all around yeah and that becomes a little bit of an ego as well now honestly he shouldn't care as long as we win the yeah. amount of is that that they're going to get from that surpasses any of these minor issues you have yeah. to do what's best for the team I don't know mm-hmm. whether it's at the level of Saklan. I have zero hope in Saklan's intellectual ability to comprehend mm-hmm. any of this. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know if it's a level of Matthew Hayden. I don't understand that. He's a smart man. Yeah. I don't know if it's at the level of Babur. We don't know. Obviously we don't know. But yeah. everybody knows that this has to happen and it's not happening. And look, we're saying this, we know it's not going to happen. We know yeah. they're not going to change in the semis and finals. Yeah. They're just not going to do it. Right. Uh, another example of that is jo pichle world cup mein carrying on with hasan ali right jab pure hum sab keh rahe the ki yaar change karo he is the weakest link yeah. but nahi wo winning combination nahi change karni and then semi final we all saw what happened to chale ye to ab ek long term bhi discussion ho jayegi in the interest of time ab uh, ek quick baat kar lete hain hamari bowlers ke upar i mean would you say ke bowlers have done you know very well overall kal bhi restrict karna 125 odd runs pe um and uh, you know moving forward Although कल नवाज को सरप्राइजिंगली यूटिलाइज नहीं किया उसके बारे में आप क्या कहेंगे कि यू नो हॉर्सेज फॉर कोर्सेज और यू नो क्या क्या कहेंगे अबाउट आर आर बोलिंग हाउ आर बोलिंग हैज बीन एंड मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वट यू एनी थिंग दैट यू एडवाइज इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो दोलिंग ऑर्डर या डेथ बॉलिंग किससे करवानी वगैरह 
आई थिंक बोलिंग पहले मैच के बाद इट सोर्टेड आउट आई थिंक वो बिल्कुल सही डेथ बॉलिंग भी बेहतर हो गई है क्योंकि राउफ पहले ही था नसीम वी सी अ बिग इम्प्रूवमेंट इन नसीम वसीम के है थोड़ा शुरू में प्रॉब्लम मगर मिडिल और मिडिल ओवर अच्छा करता है शाहीन इज कमिंग बैक तो स्पेशली फाइनल मेलबर्न में तो आई थिंक दे ऑल फोर विल प्रिटी मच बोल द इन शाह कोटा थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम हो गए स्पिनर चाहिए होंगे हमें सिडनी में ये है कि आपके इफ्तार ने क्योंकि उस दिन बॉलिंग अच्छी की है बांग्लादेश के खिलाफ तो आई थिंक शादाब इज लाइक टॉप विकेट टेकर राइट नाउ डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द मैच कंडीशन आई थिंक नवाज एंड चाचक दे कैन फिगर इट आउट टू इज बेस्ट एट दैट सिचुएशन या आई मीन इट्स लाइक आई सेड अर्ली इट्स एन एम्बेरसमेंट ऑफ रिचेस इट्स अ गुड प्रॉब्लम टू हैव इट्स अ टफ टॉप प्रॉब्लम टू हैव एज़ वेल बिकॉज़ हु डू यू बॉल द डेथ यू नो um shaheen afridi was clearly not at his best throughout this tournament he was economical against india more out of respect than actually bowling well um but this last match we saw was the first time we've seen him look like the shaheen of old i mean there was a one over where he bowled two in swinging yorkers to a lefty and a righty um mm-hmm. you know shaheen looks it, it's it's actually a hard problem in the end when you're bowling the death who do you want hardest rauf who's got the pace who's got the intelligence you want nasim shah who has probably the best uh master Change of pace, of pace so, that we have mm-hmm. you want to see who's bowling good yorkers yorkers you mm-hmm. know or um do you want china freedy who's your alpha wicket taker it's a hard problem yeah. but it's a good problem to have i think having these three spinners you know like you said horses of courses nawaz is good in his time he should never bowl the last over we i think know that but if the khara someone who i've mm-hmm. always you know said even when i wasn't the biggest fan of his batting which i apologized to him he's done great um He is an economic and good bowler to throw in and over here and there. Shadab is thankfully back in form. Um so it's mm-hmm. so nice to be able to have these interchangeable parts that all of them are wicket takers even if the khar mm-hmm. all of them are effective and you really can't go wrong with any of them. I think tremendous credit goes to our bowlers because our batsmen are always inconsistent. Uh, every single match even in right. a match our bowlers were outstanding. Last three overs maybe not but they were outstanding in every match. no amount of praise is enough for our bowlers um and i do give credit to babar for how he managed them except the india match he managed them very well right chale isi se hum ek segue kar sakte hain about uh, the semi final against new zealand so one question i have for you guys is we've seen one of the strengths of new zealand is they come very hard in the power play john cow a fin allen hai and then conway um and so they probably so power ऑस्ट्रेलिया के गेम में तो जस्ट पावर प्ले के अंदर ही गेम जो है अपने फेवर में कर ली थी सो वॉट शुड आर स्ट्रेटेजी बी इज देर यू नो आई सो यू एस इन द पावर प्ले सो थिंक वी शो ट्राई आउट सम अप्रोचेस टू रिस्ट्रिक्ट यू थिंक वट हैज बीन वर्किंग फॉर अस इन द पास्ट कंटिन्यू बिकॉज फ्रेंकली इवन इन द बांग्लादेश गेम Although हमने एंड में रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर लिया था बट स्टार्ट उनका फिर भी अच्छा हो गया था आई मीन लाइक सेवेंटी ऑर्ड इन द फर्स्ट टेन ओवर्स सो हाउ हाउ डू थिंक वट शुड बी आर अप्रोच टू काइंड ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्ट दम पर्टिकुलर इन द पावर प्ले आई थिंक यू आर एब्सोलूटली राइट न्यूजीलैंड विल गो रियली हार्ड इन पावर प्ले और मैच इज इन सिडनी ठीक है ना तो शाहीन तो करेगा पहला ओवर शाहीन से शुरू करें और ये ये कर सकते हैं कि आई नो नवाज ने बॉल नहीं किए मगर एक और दे दे नवाज को पावर प्ले में क्योंकि कौन बाय और जो एलन है वो खासतौर पे एलन तो फास्ट बॉलर ही खेलता है स्पिनर से उस, उसको अभी तक खेला नहीं है ना तो ये नवाज के बॉल है ओवर और दूसरा है कि रऊफ को ले आए एक ओवर रऊफ से भी कराए क्योंकि ये वी नीड टू गेट विकेट अगर वो पांच ओवर खेल गए रहे दोनों तो मसला हो जाएगा इस इट कैन बी हाई स्कोरिंग गेम एंड सिडनी तो पावर प्ले इज वेरी क्रूशल I I I want to see शाहीन के दो ओवर राउफ वन और टू और और एक एक आध मुझे स्पिनर का भी चाहिए पावर प्ले सो आई आई थिंक आई एग्री इन देंस इट्स ऑल अबाउट विकेट्स यू हैव टू गेट विकेट्स एंड वी हैव विकेट टेकिंग बॉलर्स एट द टॉप वी हैव सीन रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द पिच रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द ग्राउंड द बॉल स्विंग्स जस्ट फॉर अबाउट फोर और फाइव ओवर्स एंड देन इट स्टॉप्स या एंड सो यू नीड योर बेस्ट विकेट टेकिंग बॉलर्स एंड सो आई वुड नॉट यूज अ स्पिनर नसीम शाह has been very good at the top he's swinging it he's spinning he's getting good seam change of pace when you have a player who is a hard hitting player who comes down the wicket and is swinging you know with his eyes closed changes of pace 
really make a big difference. Again, harken back to 1992, Mark Breakbatch. How did Akib Javed bowl him? It was a slower ball, right? So changes of pace, which Nassim Shah is the best at, um, I, I don't know that I would necessarily use a spinner, especially since Nawaz is a wicket-taking bowler, but even when he takes wickets, he's been, proved, he's been expensive. Um, I would go with our strength, our pace bowlers. Sure, throw in Ralph, give uh, Shaheen two overs as well, but I think all three of those guys give him two overs, Nassim, Rauf, and Shaheen um, in the beginning, and save Wasim, uh, Wasim for later on. I would be a little careful about you trying a spinner in the beginning. But I, I, just a question, if Imad was now, then one more time. 100%, I would use Imad. Imad was an opening bowler. Hafiz and Imad Wasim are two who I would, yeah. would have opened with. But again, yeah. the thing is, kid, we see the ball stop swinging after four or five overs. So why not use your best proponents of swing and say, look, Shaina Fridi, his presentation of seam was beautiful yesterday. After a few overs, it's gone. <laughs> nee, ego. Yeah, okay, maybe. I don't know. Chalaji, in the interest of time, uh, let's just talk about our prediction first, and then um, and then we'll we'll talk about what you know needs to happen overall. Mubadasir, who are you going with? You know, the record favors us, like uh, ICC knockouts against New Zealand in semi-final. I think Pakistan psychologically uh, has a has an edge. Um, or toss will be crucial. Uh, I think they should uh, um, bowl, bat first. They should bat first mm -hmm. and try to um, put on at least 175, 185. Uh, so, South Africa will attempt it, you know. Uh, it, South Africa exactly. Wala. Sydney mein game hai. Magar mm -hmm. They cannot afford to score 150, 160. They have to score. Oh, bada kam to yeah. bada bada score. Or Are you think, going with Pakistan, basically? You're saying Pakistan, right? Yeah, Pakistan. Yeah, exactly. And and again, again, I need to show some intent. Haris <laughs> open kara dhe, koi masla nahi hai. Asif, aap kya kao ge? So, you know, New Zealand is the top of their group. We're second in our group. So New Zealand, yeah. actually, most people are favoring New Zealand to win. Um, mm -hmm. They're good in these conditions. I, of course, I've, I agree we should uh, absolutely defend, not chase. Um, and I've told you, we're, we're going to win, inshallah. We, it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. We're going to win this match. We're going to beat England in the finals. And inshallah, we're bringing the World Cup home. Inshallah. Uh, what do you think a couple of, you know, quick things, uh, Joe, a uh, couple of things that need to happen for us to win? Uh, obviously, you know, I also kind of uh, feel that we have a slight upper hand because of the momentum. But uh, what would you say? I'll just talk about one thing maybe and then you can sort of fill in the rest. Uh, for me, uh, I think you have talked that Aggressive intent, you know. We Bangladesh ke saath it was fine if we are chasing, you yeah. know. Um, like in um, New Zealand ke saath we have to sort of go with an aggressive intent. Uh, kind of not too dissimilar to the South Africa game. South Africa game ke andar, you know, even though we lost four early wickets, but we didn't give up because it was do or die. You know, humne, so we 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 ended up uh, scoring a very good score with that aggressive intent. So I think that would need to be the key. We have free game. We have no dudder. But I think when we Australia in the semi final, mein, uske andar, the, the situation was a bit reversed. Uske andar, you know, people were predicting that we are the favorites. You know, UAE ke andar game over We haven't lost any game. And we have a lot of people back of our mind. We have a lot of people who are People are saying that we are a better team. We have a condition. We have a lot of people who are saying that we have a Entry Maria semi final, mein. you know, so that should kind of free us up. We don't expect to be able to do that. Now, when we are going to do we are just going to, you know, play our game and just see what happens, just go with an aggressive intent. Aap log kuch add karna chahoge, you know, what, what could sort of. I agree with both of you about aggressive intent because what's the point of having depth and batting if the other guys don't even get to bat, right? Mm -hmm. That's why you have depth and batting. We have it. One thing which I think is a little interesting is I believe this is a new pitch that has been laid out. That's what I've heard. So we don't know exactly what the conditions will be, but spin is always important in yeah. Sydney, Sydney, even though I, I was not for Nawaz opening the bowling, but I think our spinners are going to play a key role. Satner, Mitchell Satner is going to be important. Um, and Sodi, 
हमारा जो है ये एपिसोड वहां तक भी पहुंचे जिस तरीके से भी पहुंचे बट पहुंच गए सो अब इन टेकिंग बट हेज विशिंग पाकिस्तान द वेरी बेस्ट इनशाला इस गेम के बाद दोबारा आपके साथ मुलाकात होगी होपफुली